We are ranking each of the different hero specializations coming in The War Within. And today, we're talking about the Wildstalker, one of the druid specializations available for both feral and restoration druids. Wildstalkers live in the remote woods of the world, protecting them from the savagery of civilization. We're going to go over this hero spec's concept, implementation, power, and then give it an overall score. Sazaze. Wildstalker Druids. Concept-wise, it says that they are druids that live in the remote areas of the world, protecting nature from civilization, and using their healing magic to restore life to barren places. This concept just isn't landing for me. I don't really feel like this is a type of druid that I was really looking forward to being as a heroic entity within druidism. And as a feral restoration druid, this concept just feels so lacking and... I'm just not I'm just not there with it. I would give this a one out of five stars. I think it's just a little bit weak. There's no characters that's a wild stalker that I'm thinking about that I'm like, oh man, I wish I was that character coming in from this. And I, that's really what I want out of hero specializations is like, oh man, I want this archetype that I want to explore my character further with, and I'm just not getting that. For the implementation, the main part of it is the new Bloodseeker Vines and Symbiotic Blooms. Which make it so that whenever you put one of your overtime effects onto a target, there's a chance for it to stack up this new overtime effect that will heal or deal damage in additional. Basically buffing up your cat's bleeds and your healer's regrowth and wild growths. There's not a lot of consistency throughout the tree. It does a lot of things all over the place. Buffing some of your attacks as a cat, buffing moonfire and sunfire, making it so that when you soothe or remove a debuff, you heal and get a combo point, and then a couple of options to make the new dots last longer or make them easier to stack. The capstone makes it so that when your new overtime effect is on the target, your effects against that target are improved. I look at implementation as I take the concept and how well did they implement on that concept. And I, again, am just not feeling this at all. What they described in the what the Wild Stalker is and any kind of emotions or feelings that I get from Wild Stalker as a concept, I'm not getting from this implementation. The improvement over the overtime effects doesn't really feel like you're hunting to perpetuate the cycle of life and death, nor does it feel like you're restoring life to barren spaces. It just isn't landing in what they're saying they're delivering with this hero spec. That lands it again at about one stars for me, implementation-wise. Moving on to power, things don't get a lot better here. The power of the specialization feels a lot lacking. I think that it needs a significant buff to the chance that this new debuff goes out to bring it up in level with all the other hero specializations. Especially for Feral, the stacks from these Bloodseeker Vines just seem so hard to stack up and so hard to be effective. It's a lot easier for the healers to get it because of things like Efflorescence and Wild Growth really reliably healing up targets. For the Feral one, it's so much less common that you're going to have that many bleeds on multiple targets to be able to gain advantage of the Bloodseekers. So power-wise, this is about like... Eh... I would say this is about 1.5 stars for power wise. So that leaves this hero specialization at the absolute lowest overall score. I'm rounding to half stars and this will round down to a one star hero specialization. And I think if you check out the forums and general feel from druids, druids everywhere are kind of feeling the same way. This one is just unimaginative and lacking. What I would do differently, I wouldn't actually change too much about the implementation. I would still have it be this new stacking either heal over time or damage over time effect, depending on the skill used. But I would theme it very differently. I would give this class a whole different concept. The concept change that I would do would be a spore sovereign. This is going to be a mushroom and spore based druid that focuses in on those styles of magics. This could have a really cool tie in to the new race of creatures that we found down in Ashkatet as well as it could lead into some of the other spells that have existed for druids over time relating to mushrooms that are just kind of not there anymore. The theme here would be whenever you're bleeding the target, fungal spores enter into those wounds and fester and increase the damage taken by the target, where whenever you heal a target, symbiotic mushrooms will sprout out and help heal them further. I do think a spore druid is a type of druid that there are players out there that want to be. This exists in all sorts of different mediums, and it fits really well with the cave-themed druid style that the War Within is giving us. To top this all off, I would change the capstone ability to instead change it so that your incarnation abilities change you into a spore-based incarnation. So a big mushroom man for restoration druids, and maybe some kind of fungal cat creature for the feral. Let me know what you think of the Wildstalker Druid, and if you think I'm way off base here, giving this thing only one stars. I know it might end up being controversial, but I'm feeling pretty confident in what I've said. I'm Zesty Fresh Sazza Games, and we'll catch you guys next time.